Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesign and TechTips.com. Well, in yesterday's video, we showed you how to turn your header here into a transparent header. And when you scroll down the page, it's going to have a little color behind it. Now we were using the default Divi header for this. A lot of you have built custom headers for your site, either global or just general custom headers for a page. So on today's, I'm going to show you how to do exactly the same thing with a little custom header. Here we've got a custom header just for this page. When I scroll down, as you can see, it's going to add a bit of background color to it. Scroll back up. It's going to lose its color on the top. Really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to revert the site back to how it was with the general white header up there. And we'll get this done. Okay, great. Well, I've got this converted back to how it was with the original white background color logo and what have you. I've still got my template that I made for this page right here still working. So let's go down and get rid of that. And I'll show you how to build one really easy. To do that, we need to go to the theme builder. Let's get rid of a few of these pages here. Get to your theme builder and go down to your dashboard. Once at the dashboard, you need to go down to Divi to Theme Builder right here. Now here's the custom header that I built just for that particular page there. You can build a global header which will appear anywhere on all pages of your site. Or you can build a custom header and just apply it to specific pages that have dark sections that will work with a nice transparent background. So let's actually get rid of this whole module. When you go into your customizer, this is usually what you want to see. So I'm going to add a new template. I'm going to build a new template. I want it to be on a specific page. And as you can see, you can set it for the home page, children of specific pages, posts, blogs, archive pages, category pages, all kind of different things. Today, let's keep this simple. I'm just going to assign it to one single page. And the pages that will show up here have to be published. Draft pages will not show up here. So these are your published pages. Let's use that same one. Let's use that slider page. Now we can create our template. I'm just going to save my changes here. If I go to that slider page now and refresh, our transparent header should disappear up there. It should be back to the white one. And there we have it. Okay, back to where we were. So we just created this. I just want to add a custom header and you can create custom body styles and footers for each page as well if you want to. I just want to create the header for ours today. I'm going to build a custom header. That brings us to this page here. And by default, it puts in a section for us, the blue tab. We need to add a row. I'm going to keep this very, very simple. You can go to town on these things and make fantastic headers. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a little background color to our section at the top here so we can see what's going on. Well, let's give it, well, let's just give it a black. That'll do fine. Great. Now let's add a row. Like I say, I'm going to keep my really simple. You can make this as complex as you want. I'm going to put a single column in my row. I'm going to use a simple menu module. Now, bearing in mind, we're going to be using this over a dark section at the top. I want light links and a light logo. Choose whatever menu you want here. And these, the only menus that will show up are the ones that you've actually got published. If I go back down to the dashboard, for anybody that's not sure, go to appearance and then menus. This is where you create and save your menus. And sticky is the only one I've got on this site. And that's why it's turning up there. And that's my links back there. Fantastic. Okay, well, I want to add my little logo to this. So just down below the menu options, there's a logo. I'm going to add the white version that's going to stand out nicely against our dark background there. Of course, that's way too big to fix the logo the size you want. Go over to your design. We can go down to sizing. Top ones, logo width. I'm going to put in perhaps 200 px pixels make sure you put the px on the end or it'll put in a percentage for you which won't work so well 
Okay, we've got a white background on this, and I really don't want any background at all. Background's always under content. Click on content. There's background. We can get rid of that white background by hitting this little trash can icon. Great. Well, of course, we've lost our links because they're dark in color. Easily fixed. Let's go into our design here. Here's the menu text. Active link color, I'll make white. And also the regular link color, I'll make white. And they should come back there. Great. I want to align them, I think, in the middle on desktop and on mobile and tablet. And this is common to all DB modules. If you roll up over the dark writing within a module, you'll see some little icons appear. If there's a little mobile phone type icon, we can have different settings for tablet. Probably pop that on the right. And for phone, that on the right as well. Great. Now you may have noticed when I went onto the tablet, our little hamburger icons, a sort of default light blue color. I want to change that to a white as well. If we just roll down to icons here, there's our hamburger menu icon color. And again, if you want to, this is common to all DB modules also, again, hover over the dark writing to the thing you want to affect. If there's an arrow there, you can have a completely different color on hover by selecting the hover, selecting the color you want. So you've got two completely different colors. Okay, well, this section's way too deep. So let's save our changes. That's all I'm going to put on my header up there, keeping it very simple, as you can see. We're going to go into the section and shrink this down to the size that we actually want it. Once in the section, I'm going to go to design and spacing. I'm going to take any padding away, top and bottom, which will just leave us with the height of the row within there. To do that, just put a zero in the top, hit the chain. It'll do the bottom for you. No need to put in picks. It'll put them in there for you. Still a little bit deep. So let's take a bit of padding away from the row that it's sitting in there. So we can save our section settings here. Go into the row, which is the green tab. Same thing over to design and spacing. Let's try perhaps 10 picks top. That makes it a bit skinnier. And 10 picks bottom. That's fine. Great. Well, we've got everything that we need here, or at least everything that I need here. So initially, I want to have a transparent background on this section here when it's at the top of the page. So let's do that. Go back into the blue tab for the section. Background, always under content, as we mentioned before. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on my black field. I'm going to take this variegated slider here all the way down to the bottom, which is opacity. Makes it totally see-through there. So we're just looking at a white color behind there, which is going to work perfectly for me. But when they scroll down the page, when it goes over white sections, I want it to have a bit of a background color want to be able to see a bit of the website through it and we can do that very easily by going over to our advanced first thing we want to do is make sure that this is going to stick to the top at all times so it's visible at the top of our screen at all times to do that go down to our scroll effects under the advanced tab remember we're in our section and let's say stick to top great don't want any offset that's all I want to do on this little page here now that we've stuck it to the top, we go back to our content and look at the background here. We've got an extra icon up here if we roll over. It's a little pin, which means when it's stuck to the top, we can have a different value if we click on that. Normally, we want it to be transparent where, it's, where it is. When it sticks to the top, in other words, when they start rolling down the page, it's going to stick to the top there. We can bring that color back to a much darker color so that when it goes over the light sections we can still read the links up there and see the logo and any other content you've put on yours i'm not taking it all the way up if you take it all the way up it's going to be a full black i want to let a little bit of that website through the back there but that's entirely up to you okay well let's see what we've got here let's save our changes here we'll hit the little purple button save changes here we'll exit the visual builder X out at the top right there. Make sure all the changes are saved here. There's our little custom header. We've assigned it to that one page, which is called slider up here. So now when I refresh, we should see our new one up there. 
but it's not going to look quite like I want it. We've got to do one more little tweak on the page itself. So let's refresh this. And here we have it. And it doesn't look like I want it. The reason it doesn't look like I want it, we still got a white background there. It's not because there's a background there. It's because our content is down here. We need to pull the actual page content up here. So let's enable the visual builder. I'm going to go down to my content here. The purple tabs, my top full width section there with that slider on it. I'm going to go down to design. Now you could do this with negative margin, but for some reason it messes up my slider. So I'm going to go down to transform. Second tab along is translate, which means move. I want to uncheck this chain. It's usually checked by default, so it's blue like that. I just want to do this side, the vertical motion here. I want to take it up by about 100 pixels or so, so it covers that little menu at the top. And our little transparent menu is working fine there. I think actually 100 picks exactly should do it. Great. And that fixes that little issue there. Now, again, you want to check it on tablet depending on what content you've got in your header. Let's check it on tablet. We'll roll back up to the top. As you can see, it's got a different color. Our tablet wants to go up. I think our negative 100 should do it. So negative 100. That's fine. Now we'll have a look on phone. Roll back up to the top. That actually works fine on phone too. Let's save our little changes here. Again, we'll save the page changes. And we'll exit the visual builder. Great. Well, there's our page. There's our little transparent header at the top when I roll down the page you should see the color coming in there so when we go to the white sections you can read that and we can roll it back up to the top and it goes back to how it was if I go to a different page perhaps the home page I'll open it in a new tab we've still got our little default header there so there you have it guys there's how to create a transparent menu on any page or if you use the global option you can make it on all pages and have it change the color on scroll just like that. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you have any questions, pop them down below the video. I'll do my best to answer them for you. or make a little demo video just like this one. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.